Continuing on with this example, we're going to look at part E, negative 25 to the 3 halves. And the easiest way to work this is to rewrite 25 to the 3 halves in radical notation. So this is really negative 25 to the 1 half and then cubed. Because when you have a power raised to a power, you multiply 1 half times 3 is 3 halves, so these are equivalent. We have negative and then in parentheses 25 to the 1 half is the square root of 25. I'm taking the cube on the outside. I get negative inside parentheses, square root of 25 is 5 cubed, which gives me negative 125. So on our calculator, I would approach this as negative 25 exponent parentheses. Again, don't really need them for this calculator, but for others you do, so I might as well include them. And then hit enter and we get negative 125. Let's see how part f is different because it certainly looks very much the same, but I notice that my negative is inside the parentheses, whereas on this one the negative was outside the parentheses. So if I rewrite this using the radical notation as I did here, I'm going to have the square root of negative 25 raised to the third power but the square root of negative 25, we have a problem because there's no real number times itself that will give us negative 25. It's the negative that's a problem. So therefore, I can't do the inside part, meaning I can't raise any result to the third. So this result will be not a real number, similar to what we had up here in part C.